Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can create a Stripe payment link in your Stripe account in order to receive online payments and then use that payment link in your application. Stripe payment links are very efficient way of receiving online payments. So I am on the official website of Stripe. You need to click on the dashboards and it will redirect you to your Stripe dashboard. So if you are using this for the first time, you need to create your account here. And for the first time, make sure it is in, the, in test mode. And once you are done, you can uh, remove this test account and enable the production mode. So these are the various options that the Stripe provide you. You need to click on this uh, payment links. And in the payment links, you need to click on the new button to create a new payment link. And first of all, you need to add the product here. So let's click on add a new product. So here you need to provide the information about your product. So let's suppose the name of product is test product for case of simplicity. And in the description, we can provide some description like this is testing product. And you can also specify the price here, like I am giving $10 here. And you need to specify whether it is only the one time payment or the recurring payment like you receive after every month. And here you can upload the uh, image of your product or anything from for where you want to uh, receive the payments. You need to click on this add product button and it will add the product. So it has added a product with the name of test product and with the price of $10. And you need to specify some more options here. Like you can, if you want to get the address of the customer, you can enable this field. And as you can see, it has an ad added another field to receive the address of the user. For now, let's uncheck this. After that, you can also specify to require the customer to provide the phone number and limit the number of payments. And once you click on this uh, advanced options, you can also see some other options like you can uh, uh, you can allow the promotion codes uh, in your Stripe payment page. So for now, let's uncheck all these and click on the create link. So it has created a payment link for us and you can provide this payment link to any of your customer to give you payment. And also I will show you how you can integrate this payment link in your app application to receive payments. So these are all the informations about your payment link. So once you redirect to this link, let's suppose I have opened another tab and once I redirect to, to this link, you will see a Stripe payment page here. Like this is the product for, where, uh, for which the user is paying and in the description that you have added and you can user can fill uh, his information here like that card information for now i am just setting the test information to show you and this is the testing card that stripe provide us and after successful payment it will show you the success message and on the payment page you will see that uh, it has proceeded the payment and you have received the payment in your stripe account so it will take a while and you will receive the, the message that thanks for your payment so once i go to the payments page you will see that testing at gmail.com has just paid so this is the account that just paid us ten dollars now how we can use this payment link in our uh, application as in my previous videos, I have already explained how you can do all these steps from your code, like how you can create a checkout session, how can pa you pass the information about your product and how you can pass the success and the cancel URL. And once the uh, Stripe has uh, proceed the transaction and it will call the success and then the failure URL. And in order to verify the payment, uh, you will you need to implement the webhook. But how you can do this using the payment link? So in order to use the payment link, you need to go back to the Stripe links. So this is the product that we just created. Click on this product. And in this product, instead of uh, give, uh, passing this uh, payment link, you need to click on the name of product. And in this product, you will be given the API ID. You need to copy this ID and you need to pass this ID in your code. Like in place of this whole thing, you can just pass a price parameter 
and pass the API ID to this price parameter. Now let's run the server to verify this. So the server has started. Redirect to the root URL. So this is the API that we need to call. So as you can see, it has redirected us to the Stripe payment page that you, we have created. So this is the dashboard deck. This is the price that we specified and the description. We can fill the information here. So the email has already pre-filled like we have specified this from our code. But if we remove this, then we will allow the user to enter a new email here. And once we paid, it will redirect us to the success page instead of uh, to showing us the thank you message. So the payment has successfully proceeded and it has uh, called the success URL. So in our webhook, you can see it has uh, triggered different events and the 200 response means that it has successfully triggered the events and we should have received the information that the user provided in our uh, Stripe webhook link. So this is how the complete uh, check uh, payment link will work. You can either provide the pay uh, product payment link to the user or you can pass the product ID in your code and then handle this from your code. So this is how the payment links work in uh, Stripe. Thanks for watching.